And I wrote the, the Fabric of Reality because I realized that the most fundamental theories, that we, which there are four that I picked out as being the most fundamental, um, formed a sort of unified um, fabric of reality, a conception of the world, where none of them could be understand, uh, understood without the other three. Microsoft just unveiled something most people missed completely. Patents for AR glasses that don't just show you reality. They can edit it in real time. Think about that for a second. We're not talking about simple overlays. These glasses use on-device AI to recognize objects, add thermal vision, and seamlessly connect to Microsoft's cloud. They can literally change what you see when you look at the world. But here's where it gets terrifying. This isn't some distant future technology. Microsoft has already baked AI co-pilots into Windows 11, Office, Bing, and even Paint. Right now, millions of people are letting Microsoft's AI rewrite their documents, generate their images, and filter their search results. You probably used one of these tools today without even thinking about it. That co-pilot button in your taskbar? It's not just helping you write emails. It's learning how you think, what you see, what you believe. And here's the kicker. No government agency is regulating any of this. Not the AR glasses, not the AI overlays, not the reality editing technology that's spreading across every device you own. Microsoft isn't just building software anymore. They're constructing a layer between you and reality itself. And most people have no idea it's happening. The tools they're using, they're already on your devices, running in the background, quietly reshaping how you experience the world around you. The reality layers Microsoft is building. Microsoft isn't just building random tech products. They're constructing something far more sophisticated. A three-layer control system that operates like the hidden infrastructure of reality itself. Layer one is synthetic worlds. Microsoft's Azure Digital Twins platform already creates live digital models of entire cities. Manhattan West in New York runs on a real-time 3D digital twin. Singapore uses them for urban planning. But here's what's wild. Microsoft just released Synth LLM, a system that generates completely artificial data sets to train AI models. Think about that. They can now create synthetic societies, synthetic conversations, even synthetic human behavior patterns. These aren't just simulations. They're alternative realities that influence real-world decisions. Layer two is perception interfaces. Those AR glasses patents, they're designed to run continuous AI analysis on everything you see. Object recognition, thermal imaging, instant cloud processing. But it's already happening through Copilot. Right now, in Windows 11, there's an AI assistant analyzing your documents, generating your images, filtering your search results. Every time you hit that Copilot button, Microsoft's AI is literally editing your digital experience in real time. Layer three is the underlying fabric. Microsoft's Azure Cloud spans dozens of global regions. They call it an AI supercomputer for the world. But they're also developing quantum computers through Project Silica, storing data in unbreakable glass crystals that could outlast entire civilizations. This isn't just about software updates. This is about Microsoft becoming the hidden operating system of reality itself. Think of it this way. If Google shaped how you search for information, Microsoft is moving one step further. They're shaping what you see, what you trust, and what you act on. And the wild part? They're doing it across all three layers of reality at once. Your documents get AI assisted. Your city runs on digital twins. Your future AR glasses will overlay Microsoft's version of truth onto everything you look at. But the most shocking part isn't that they're doing this. It's that they're doing it without any real oversight. Groundbreaking, but under-discussed research. But Microsoft's most groundbreaking research happens in the shadows. Projects so advanced that most people don't even know they exist. Station Q is Microsoft's quantum computing division. They've been quietly developing something called topological qubits for over 20 years. If they crack this technology, their Azure cloud could simulate entire physical systems. We're talking about modeling molecules, predicting weather patterns, even simulating space-time geometries. Imagine having the computational power to test how reality itself behaves under different conditions. 
That's not theoretical anymore. That's Microsoft's actual research goal. Then there's Project Silica. Microsoft is encoding data into quartz glass crystals. These aren't regular storage devices. These crystals could preserve information for thousands of years, surviving nuclear disasters, climate change, even the collapse of governments. Microsoft could literally become the keeper of human civilization's memory. Every book, every document, every piece of knowledge stored in their glass archives forever. But here's where it gets truly unsettling. Microsoft filed patents for analyzing brainwave patterns to reconstruct dreamlike imagery. They're researching direct connections between your mind and their machines. Right now, this technology reads basic brain activity, but the patent application suggests they're working towards something far more invasive, interfaces that could potentially influence what you think, not just what you see. What do you think? Should a single corporation have the power to store human civilization in glass or peer into your dreams? Let us know in the comments before we reveal the next step. Because if this sounds like science fiction, wait until you see how they're already testing it on entire cities. Experiments on synthetic societies. Microsoft's Azure Digital Twins aren't just modeling individual buildings anymore. They're creating complete digital copies of entire urban systems. Manhattan West runs on a real-time digital twin that tracks every person, every elevator, every energy pattern. Doosan uses Azure Digital Twins to model wind turbine performance across entire farms. Singapore is building a digital twin of their whole city for urban planning. But here's the terrifying potential. This technology could scale to nation-sized simulations. Microsoft Research Asia just released Synth LLM, which generates completely artificial data sets that perfectly mimic real human behavior. Their AI models can now be trained on fabricated societies that never existed. Think about the implications. If governments or corporations can run full-scale population simulations, they could test policies on digital citizens before applying them to real people. Elections could be simulated. Economic crashes could be rehearsed. Social movements could be predicted and controlled. Who decides what those synthetic societies look like? Who controls the outcomes of those tests? Imagine a full-scale mirror world of America running on Microsoft's servers. Laws could be tested, elections simulated, wars rehearsed, all before we ever know about it. That's not a conspiracy theory. That's exactly where digital twin technology is heading. Microsoft already has the cloud infrastructure. They have the AI models. They have the synthetic data generation. All the pieces are in place. This is what we mean when we say Microsoft is messing with reality. They're not just coding apps anymore. They're rewriting the testbed for society itself. And the most shocking part? There's absolutely no regulatory oversight stopping them from building these synthetic worlds. The invisible editor of truth. Right now, Microsoft Copilot is embedded in Windows 11, Office 365, Bing, GitHub, even basic apps like Paint and Photos. It's not just another feature. It's become the default editor of truth for millions of people. When you search for news, Copilot filters the results. When you write documents, Copilot suggests the words. When you create images, Copilot generates the pixels. Microsoft's AI is literally mediating your relationship with information. But here's what's really disturbing. Microsoft filed patents in 2023 for systems that eliminate AI hallucinations by scoring responses against knowledge bases. They're not just fighting misinformation, they're defining what counts as truth in the first place. Think about that power. Microsoft decides which knowledge bases are authoritative. Microsoft decides which responses get filtered out. Microsoft decides what version of reality their AI presents to you. And those AR glasses patents from 2025, they're designed with continuous object recognition and thermal imaging. The glasses don't just show you what's there, they can identify, categorize, and overlay information on everything you see. This creates the possibility for targeted reality editing. Imagine walking down the street and seeing different information overlays based on your profile, your politics, your purchase history. The glasses could literally show you a curated version of the world. Your conservative neighbor might see patriotic overlays on government buildings. Your liberal friend might see climate change warnings on gas stations. 
same street, completely different realities. Microsoft already controls what Copilot tells you about current events. Soon they could control what you see when you look at those events happening in real life. Here's the real question. If Microsoft decides what your AI assistant says and what your glasses show you, how much of the world is actually yours to see? Or is it theirs? This technology isn't neutral. Every filter, every overlay, every AI response reflects the values and priorities of whoever programmed it. And this leads us to the most unsettling part. Not the technology itself, but the fact that there's no referee in sight. Regulatory black hole. Here's the shocking truth about Microsoft's reality-shaping technology. There's absolutely no one regulating it. Unlike medicine, there's no FDA for AI. Unlike aviation, there's no safety board for augmented reality. Unlike finance, there's no commission overseeing how tech companies manipulate information. Microsoft can deploy Copilot to 1.4 billion Windows users tomorrow. They can change the algorithms that filter your search results. They can alter what their AR glasses show you. And no government agency has to approve it first. But the monopoly problem runs even deeper. Microsoft has an exclusive partnership with OpenAI. That means every major AI breakthrough, GPT-4, GPT-5, future models, runs exclusively on Microsoft's Azure cloud. This is like Standard Oil all over again, except instead of controlling energy, Microsoft is controlling the infrastructure of intelligence itself. When other companies want to use advanced AI, they have to go through Microsoft. When governments want to run AI systems, they depend on Microsoft's servers. When researchers want to train new models, they need Microsoft's approval. One company now controls both the most advanced AI models and the cloud infrastructure that runs them. That's unprecedented concentration of technological power. And here's the terrifying speculation. What happens when that same company also controls the AR glasses that overlay information on your vision, the digital twins that simulate your city, and the synthetic data that trains future AI models? Microsoft wouldn't just influence individual decisions. They would control the entire information ecosystem that shapes how society thinks, plans, and acts. This affects everyone. Your kid's homework gets graded by Copilot. Your city's traffic patterns are optimized by Azure algorithms. Your future glasses will show you Microsoft's version of the world around you. From the documents you read to the streets you walk, Microsoft's technology is becoming the invisible mediator of your daily reality. And there's absolutely no regulatory framework designed to handle that level of control. Here's what's truly chilling when you look back at Microsoft's timeline. Every major announcement they made over the past decade wasn't just an isolated innovation. Each one was building toward exactly what we're seeing today. 2016, HoloLens launches. Microsoft calls it a mixed reality breakthrough. But really, they were testing how to overlay digital information onto your physical vision. 2019, Microsoft announces their billion-dollar OpenAI partnership. The media focused on AI research, but Microsoft was actually securing exclusive access to the most advanced language models on Earth. 2020, Azure Digital Twins goes live. They marketed it as smart building technology. In reality, they were learning how to create perfect digital copies of real world systems. 2021, Microsoft Mesh launches for virtual collaboration. Everyone thought it was about remote work meetings, but they were building shared virtual spaces where people's digital twins could interact. 2023, Copilot integrates into Windows, Office, and Bing. Microsoft called it AI assistance. What they really did was embed their intelligence into every document, every search, every creative task. 2025, GPT-5 powers all Microsoft products. Azure Glasses Patents get published. The synthetic data systems go online. Looking back, you realize none of these were isolated projects. Each one was a brick in a wall. And now the wall is high enough that it doesn't just surround your computer, it surrounds reality itself. The AR glasses need the cloud infrastructure. The digital twins need the AI models. The synthetic data needs the quantum computing. The whole system needs the monopoly on advanced AI. 
Microsoft didn't just build these technologies randomly. They built them to work together as a complete system for mediating human perception and experience. And the most disturbing part? They did it all in plain sight, announcing each piece as if it were just another product launch. So here we are. Microsoft has built the complete toolkit to simulate entire worlds, overlay any perception onto your vision, and control the cloud infrastructure that powers it all. This isn't about apps anymore. This isn't about software updates or new features. Microsoft has constructed the operating system of reality itself. They can generate synthetic societies to test policies before you vote on them. They can filter what information you see through Copilot. They can overlay digital truth onto your physical vision through AR glasses. They can store human civilization in unbreakable glass archives. And they're doing all of this without any meaningful oversight, regulation, or democratic input. The tools are already deployed. Copilot is in Windows 11 right now. Digital twins are running entire cities. The AR glasses patents are filed. The quantum computers are in development. Microsoft isn't planning to reshape reality. They're already doing it. The question isn't whether this technology will change how we experience the world. The question is, who gets to control that change? Right now, the answer is one corporation, operating without oversight, building the infrastructure that will mediate human perception for generations. If Microsoft can reshape what we see, test laws before they exist, and archive civilization itself, then the real question is, who gets to hold them accountable? Because right now, the answer is no one. Ah! Subscribe if you want to keep exploring what they don't want you to know, and share this. Because reality is already being rewritten, whether we're paying attention or not.